My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today we celebrate the Feast of the Most Holy Trinity. One God, three persons. The mystery of the Trinity is the greatest mystery of our Christian faith. God revealing himself as the Father, the Creator, the Son, the Redeemer, and the Holy Spirit, the Sanctifier, and the Counselor. Today's Gospel reading from John chapter 3 verse 16 to 18, though brief, gives us insight into the nature of this divine mystery. First, it says that God loves the world so much. Yes, this is the greatest truth which we all should realize. Catechism of the Catholic Church says that the purpose of human life is to know and to love God. Article number one, CCC. If we have not achieved anything in this life, not done anything great worth remembering. But if we realize the great love of God, our life is worth and we have fulfilled the purpose of our life. On the other hand, if we have great achievements and done great things in life, but don't realize the love of God, then we are still missing the most important thing in our life. Secondly, it says, God out of love sent His only Son. His Son is the most precious thing which God has. And out of love, He is sending His Son for our sake. This teaches us that when we love someone, we should also be ready to sacrifice the most important thing that we have. Then that love is genuine, divine, real. Thirdly, God sent into the world not to condemn the world. I think this is wonderful because God has enough and more reasons to condemn the world. But He sends His Son not to condemn the world, but to redeem the world. We can learn from this too that we should not condemn others. Even if things go wrong, or they don't do as we expect. Only then can we save them. Saint Philip Neri in the 16th century saw in Rome and the surrounding place irreligiosity, immorality, poverty. Instead of condemning, he started doing something to redeem the situation. And there was a revolution and things changed. Same way, instead of condemning something or someone, what we have to do is to do something to redeem the world, to redeem people. And thirdly, or finally, it says we must believe in Jesus, else we are condemned. This is quite true. God's love is revealed to us in Jesus and we must believe in that. Otherwise, we are condemning ourselves. If we are in the scientific community, we have to believe what the, the community believes, else we will be condemned by the community. If we are in a culture, we must believe the values of the culture, else we will be condemned by the people of that culture. 
or if we are working in a company or an institution, we must believe the ideas and the values of that institution, else will be condemned and fired. God is love, and His love is expressed in Jesus, and we are called to believe in that. Otherwise, we are condemning ourselves. Therefore, the feast of the Trinity shows that God loves us and that is expressed concretely in Jesus. And God wants us to get that love to perfection by our cooperation with the working of the Holy Spirit. Today, let us ask the Lord to give us the strength, the energy to respond to this love of God expressed in the salvific work of the Trinity. May the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit bless us.